this is one of those things you you read and it's like it's exciting you know um and also um you know doing uh, kind of uh, a world war Two kind of thing is uh you know there's a, this is obviously set in a in a science fiction world but there's still you know a lot of truth to it and there's still there's you know there's there's stories that still need to be told i think those kind of stories from that era there's the reality of war is in it um and yet you've got this kind of science fiction element to it so it's you know it's an exciting kind of action movie in that in that respect chase is a war correspondent he's um he's a photographer and he's probably out of the the group the one that's kind of uh that's maybe not that anyone of that time was like completely war ready but he's probably the least of them that is you know he's probably the least feels like he's cut out for it and he's probably he's probably the the uh the misfit or the runt of the the group you know and and his weapons his camera you know he's there to tell that story and stuff he's like you have obviously gone through you know basic training and thing and and things like that but you know he's not really there to 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 fight the war in his respect he's there to fight the war by documenting it chase obviously i think is trying to like spends a lot of time trying to find where he fits into the group um and a lot of times he'll come up with suggestions that are probably knocked down. You know, I think him and uh, Tibbet have quite a, um, maybe on the outside, quite a fun relationship to see because they just, they come from completely different sides. I see kind of Chase probably being a bit more from an upper class background, more involved with the arts, whereas Tibbet's, you know, more someone uh, from the streets who's like, you know, he's he's brash, you know, like, and so so they clash a lot. That was invaluable. That was and probably like one of the best times I've had or, uh, on the production. Like in terms of just the five of us being together with Freddie um, as well, um, it, it really like very quickly uh, got to know each other very very quickly. Um, and and then you know just being out, you know, in terms of being out, like we would go for um, night patrols like midnight, you know, in the middle of this forest where there was no one for miles and we're walking through this and, you know, it's all about... And Freddie, who was there, who's, um, like, the military consultant, you know, it was all about things being very real, of course, and um, and you just get a sense of what that must have... a very small sense, but what that must have been like to be out and every single twig cracking or, you know, animal or bird or whatever is going about in the forest. You, you, you know, you just wouldn't know... Uh, it just must have been the most the scariest thing you can imagine. But yeah, we did that. We did. Uh, we fired off a ton of World War Two weapons. Um, we kind of like uh, they showed us things to do, like how you know if you were in the midst of a minefield, how to kind of check for mines. Um, and we would go on these kind of long walks, all with like you know you've got a lot of gear on and stuff like that in those times. And um, yeah, it's a pretty. It's a pretty, you have to be pretty fit, it's a pretty grueling kind of just going out and doing the marches and stuff like that. It was definitely tough and you've got like 50 pounds of gear on your back, you know, that we kept on all day with your parachute and all that kind of stuff in your, uh, and it's this really kind of claustrophobic, um, you know, metal can you're sitting in. And um, and they had these big hydraulic stilts which would move and let the plane bank and so it, it it was it's a bit of a daze now. Looking back on it in hindsight, I've got fond memories of it. When we were in there, I remember we we really didn't enjoy it. This whole set is a huge maze they built over a whole studio with all these different little rooms. I don't even know if they use all of it, but the attention to detail is just incredible. When we went down to French Village, me and Wyatt and stuff were walking, and John were walking about talking and just being like. Just little, little things down to little moss or all the... They planted, like, a thousand or more of these, you know, sunflowers that were decaying in this field. And it just... The attention to detail just... Looked, I mean, it was like being in the middle of a painting. I think he's a fan of, of movies like this from having talked to him. He obviously gets, you know... He's he's serious when he needs to be, but he gets... You know, he, he can be excited on set about certain things which can be infectious... You know, when he, he he's very specific about the action. He knows about that kind of stuff, like about, you know, weapons and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the way um, big set pieces should look, you can tell he's got a very good eye for that that kind of stuff. So you feel very comfortable being in his, uh, uh, in his hands with that. I think there'll be a lot of action. Um, there'll also be a kind of emotional story running through it. Um, I think there'll hopefully be characters that... that um, 
you can learn to love or hate um, and um, it'd be exciting.